before we get started with our space adventure, please support the channel by subscribing and liking this video, and don't forget, this is a 360 degree video, so you can swipe around, to see the full 360 degrees, even when the video is paused. In this video, we are going to travel to an imagined exosolar system, our imagined system is based on a red dwarf, that has multiple planets in orbit around it. We are going to explore the different zones, that each planet orbits, including the Goldilocks zone, where Earth-type planets can orbit. So now let's use our imaginary wormhole, to travel through space, faster than light, to a distant star system. We have now arrived at our imaginary system, red dwarfs are by far the most common type of star, in the Milky Way, they can live trillions of years, much longer than brighter stars such as our Sun. Red dwarfs are small stars that are around 0.2 solar mass, the Sun is equal to 1 solar mass. This is small for a star but is still 60,000 times the mass of the Earth. They are formed in nebulas, like all stars are and originally they are protostars. They start their nuclear fusion about 100,000 years after being created, when they get their red glow, this is also where they get their heat. These stars are known to burn at 4,000 degrees Kelvin. If you look around, you can see, the system is laid out in colors. Red, green, and blue. The red area, depicts orbits closest to the star. The first planet in orbit is a gas giant, just like our very own Jupiter, only in this system, it orbits very close to the star and has an average surface temperature of 8000 degrees Fahrenheit, it would also probably be tidally locked, to its star, this means only one side of the planet would always face the star, blasting its surface with immensely hot solar winds. These planets are called hot Jupiters, and surprisingly, they're one of the most common planets found in our galaxy. At this distance from the star, the temperature is far too hot, for any planets to have liquid water. As we move into the green zone, or the Goldilocks zone, this refers to the habitable zone, around a star, and just like in the Three Little Bears story, where the temperature is just right, not too hot, and not too cold, so that liquid water can exist on a planet's surface. Rocky planets that reside in this zone, could have liquid water, and probably even oceans on their surface, as the temperature could be between 5 and 40 degrees Celsius. These ocean Earth-like planets, are the holy grail for exoplanet hunters, using space telescopes such as Kepler, TESS, Spitzer, and the soon-to-be-launched, James Webb, Space Telescope. In the hunt for Earth-like planets, it seems that we have been discovering more super-Earths, than planets identical to Earth. Over the last 20 years, we have discovered all kinds of strange planets, we never thought could exist, with nothing similar in our solar system. A whole new category of planets, super-Earths are quite common in our galaxy. These super-Earth planets, can be up to 10 times more massive than Earth. We don't yet know enough about these planets, to tell at what point they lose a rocky surface and become gas giants like our own Neptune and Uranus. In the range of 2 to 10 times the mass of Earth, there might be a wide variety of planetary compositions, including water worlds, snowball planets, or planets that like Neptune, are composed largely of dense gas, However there is no reason, that just like in this exosolar system, the Goldilocks zone could have three or more Earth-type planets, that are rocky, and have oceans on the surface, clouds in the sky, and all sorts of exotic strange life, and possibly even intelligent life. This is why SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, investigates these newly discovered worlds, in the hope, that we may discover signs of intelligent life.
We are now moving out of the habitable zone, at this distance from the star, the temperature is far too cold for liquid water to exist on the surface of a moon or planet, however, just like in our own solar system, a gas giant could have a moon just like Saturn's Enceladus, and Jupiter's Europa, and could have large oceans under their icy surface. So if we just sit back for a minute, and watch just how planets and moons waltz around each other, just like a majestic cosmic ballroom dance, 